Besides social economic inclusiveness, we also want our public housing estates to reflect our society's ethnic diversity. The Ethnic Integration Policy, or EIP, seeks to support that. It enables people from different ethnic backgrounds to integrate in their daily lives, around their homes, at the markets or hawker centres, in schools, in the neighbourhood shops and playgrounds, and so on. That provides some of the conditions to foster tolerance and understanding and counteract the powerful social forces that tend to divide societies. Even today, nearly one in three HDB blocks and 16% of HDB neighbourhoods have reached one or more of the EIP limits. Without the EIP, racial concentrations could be much higher in various parts of Singapore. So the EIP remains relevant and important in promoting racial harmony, and I'm glad that we've established bipartisan consensus on this after our debate in this House last July. We are mindful that some flat owners may face difficulties selling their flats when the EIP limits are reached. For example, some may have to lower their asking price or may take longer to sell their flats. We've been helping these families in different ways, such as by giving them more time to sell their flats and even waiving the EIP limits in exceptional circumstances. But it is not sustainable to keep waiving the EIP limits because this would erode the very objectives that the EIP seeks to achieve. Over the years, we've continued to receive feedback about the rough edges of the EIP and suggestions on how to smoothen them from the public and from MPs, including Ms. Mariam Jaffa, Mr. Chong Ki Hyong, Mr. Saktian Di Supat, and Mr. Lim Biao Chuan during this debate. We have said before that we would continue to study these options. Having done so carefully, we have decided that for EIP-constrained households who face genuine difficulties in selling their HDB flats, HDB will buy back their flat on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, this complements existing forms of assistance that I've just articulated. To ensure that we focus on households with the greatest needs, we will offer this buyback assistance to those who have owned their flats for at least 10 years but those who are EIP constrained and need to move out earlier due to extenuating circumstances can still apply to HDB for special consideration. In assessing households for buyback assistance, we will consider the household's specific circumstances, including how long the household has been EIP constrained and whether they have marketed their flats consistently at reasonable prices. If HDB assesses that the conditions have been met, it will appoint a professional licensed valuer to perform a valuation, and HDB will make a fair offer so that the household is not unduly disadvantaged due to EIP.